This is a welcome sight for state officials like Secretary Anson Tebbets with the Agency of Agriculture. And this is just going to be a wonderful facility for all of us. This facility will be the next Vermont Agriculture and Environmental Laboratory, a $27 million lab, six years in the making after the old one was destroyed during Tropical Storm Irene. A lot of work that Vermonters had done over the years was lost in that, their life's work lost in that flood. After years of working in a cluster of locations, state employees are one step closer to being under the same roof on Vermont Technical College's campus in Randolph. This facility will provide a wide range of services to protect the environment, human and animal health, and foster commerce all at the same time. And students will get something out of the lab too. By building this here, it creates tremendous opportunity for our students to engage in internships, research, and employment with the state of Vermont. Organizers say likely starting in winter of 2019, students can take classes in the same building where state employees test ticks and mosquitoes for diseases, analyze maple products, study honeybees, inspect fish, make sure air and water are free of toxic chemicals, and much more. It's work that the governor says benefits taxpayers. These lab services protect the integrity of Vermont's brand and institutions. All to make sure Vermont is a safer place to be. In Randolph, Listrepa, NBC5 News.